So how do you invest $100 in the year of 2019? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about three ways that you can do just that. Starting off in January of 2019, kicking off the new year fresh, how are you going to do this, guys? And I promise, if you do one of these three things or all of these three things, your future self is going to look back on this moment and thank you guys because investing is the way that you can get to financial freedom quicker than just saving money guys because no one ever saved money to become a millionaire right no one ever saved money to become financially free they had to invest that money grow that money and continue to throw more money into the machine right so in this video we're going to be talking about three ways to do just that stay tuned drop a like leave a comment smash that subscribe button and let's get started so the first way you're going to be investing 100 in 2019 is in the stock market guys so the stock market in my opinion is the best way to do this with simply 100 dollars because 100 dollars isn't a lot of money to start out but don't feel discouraged if you only have have $100 because the stock market is perfect for you in that situation. But let's say you wanted to do real estate, you obviously need a ton more than $100 because you have to put, you know, at least a 5, 10, 15% down payment onto a property. But that's a whole entire topic, a different topic for a whole different video. But with $100, you can start out in the stock market pretty easily, right? And for those of you guys that don't even know what the stock market is, it's a group of publicly traded companies that anybody out there, any average Joe, anybody in the public can literally buy into those companies by buying their shares, right? Buying their stock. So I can be a shareholder of Apple if I wanted to by just buying their stock. I can be a shareholder of Nike by just buying their stock, right? I can be a shareholder holder of AT&T, right? And a lot of products that we use on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, most of them are publicly traded companies in the stock market. So this is one way you can invest $100 is by simply picking a couple of publicly traded companies and buy into them. But with $100, guys, you may be only able to, you know, own one, two, three stocks with one share in each, but don't get discouraged because the whole entire idea of the stock market is to build it on top of itself, meaning that each month, each week, bi-weekly, whatever works for you, you should be depositing more money into your portfolio and buying more and more shares and taking advantage of compound interest, meaning that the interest that you're gaining on your money is earning interest itself over time. And the best way that I can explain this to you is by investing in companies that pay out dividends. So dividends are a great investing on you know, technique that's an income producing asset, meaning that, you know, a company is able to pay out dividends to the shareholder of, a, of, a, of, you know, the stock, right? Instead of reinvesting it back into the company. And once you do get this dividend payout, which in most cases is quarterly, you can reinvest that back into the company, right? Reinvest that back into the stock by buying even more stock. And with this method, guys, each quarter that goes by, right, you're going to be gaining more and more in dividends because you own more and more shares, right? The more shares you own, the more money in dividends you're going to be receiving, right? So if you're keep, you know, if you keep reinvesting your, your, your you know, your interest, your, the money you're getting pretty much is going to be get, is going to become more and more and more and more, right? And this is the easiest way in my personal opinion, or one of the easiest ways rather to become financially free over a time horizon of 20, 30, 40 years. Because, you know, if, if you have discipline, guys, and if you keep reinvesting, you know, buying more stock, you're going to be in a very good position in 20, 30, 40 years. If you do pick, you know, a diversified asset allocation, but that's a whole different topic, again, for a whole different video. But we're just sticking to the basics in this video. So the first thing you can do, guys, is buy publicly traded companies, reinvest the dividends, and, you know, compound that interest over a long period of time and continue to funnel in money after that initial deposit of $100. 
So the second way you can invest $100 in 2019 is by going to garage sales, going to places where things are very undervalued, things that are very cheap, like the clearance store, maybe in Target, the clearance section on Amazon, maybe on Walmart as well. You can do this on e-commerce platforms, you know, or in person, right? Just go to a store that has things that are half off, 75% off, scoop up those items with your $100 and then flip them on eBay, Craigslist, sites like this, right? And obviously before you do purchase these items with your $100, check to see if there's demand on eBay, right? And by doing this, you'll understand if people actually want your product that you're looking to buy for clearance, right? For 75% off and flip on eBay. And the easiest way you can do this guys on eBay is go to the filter section. I'll throw my mobile phone on here so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. And you can go to the sold items, the completed items, and you can see how many times that that particular item that you're looking to pick up has been sold on eBay, right? And you can see the frequency of how often it's selling on eBay. So you don't actually buy something and then you have it sitting in your room for months on top of months on top of months, right? Which has happened to me when I first started flipping on eBay years back. This is when I was like 16, 17 years old. And trust me guys, you know, there's a lot of things that you would just buy and they would just sit. So it's always very important to go to that completed section, go to that sold items section, right? So you can see how often it's selling and most importantly at what price it's selling, right? Because if you see that there's a nice margin of profit, let's say you pick up a pillow at Walmart for $5 and then you look up that exact pillow on eBay to see how much it's sold for and how often it's selling, you'll see how often it's selling, right? And what prices it's selling at. So let's say you bought it for five bucks, right? And it's selling for 20 bucks on on eBay, you know, you're going to be making a nice sweet $10 profit, you know, on that pillow after, you know, the fees, PayPal fees, etc. right? So picking a clearance item up, you know, maybe Goodwill, maybe garage sales like good old Gary V, you know, maybe on Walmart, Amazon.com, Target.com clearance, you know, pick it up for cheap, flip it on eBay. And this is a great way to just simply start out with $100. And you can actually turn that 100 to 200, 300, 400. Trust me, guys, I've done this myself. So that's the second way you can do it, guys, by flipping stuff on eBay. So the third way to invest $100 in 2019 is by investing in yourself. So as I said earlier on in this video, $100 is not a ton of money to begin investing, you know, in many different areas. But again, don't get discouraged about this because if you have the mindset of investing $100, you know, that's a very good step in the right direction, guys, because a ton of people out there, they don't even invest money at all, right? They literally just save money or they just spend too much money so they can't even invest any money. So the fact that you're putting your foot in the right direction at this point in time in 2019, starting off the year fresh is an absolutely, you know, great decision in my personal opinion. So by investing in yourself, I mean many different things by this, right? With $100, guys, you can literally buy multiple books in the subject area that you want to become an expert in, right? That you want to gain expertise in, right? So let's say, for example, right, you want to become a master marketer, right? You can go out to Barnes and Nobles, Amazon.com. You can buy some eBooks that are very highly rated, that are very good by, you know, some very high noted authors out there, New York Times bestsellers. You've heard a lot of great things about these books and you can indulge in these books and learn a ton of knowledge from these books, right? That you can then turn that maybe into a business, into a YouTube channel. You can start, you know, an e-commerce store and market stuff, you know, from that e-commerce store onto Facebook, right? Twitter, you know, 
Instagram. You can do so many different things from just learning a little bit of knowledge, learning a skill set from reading a couple of books with only $100. And think about it, guys. If you're investing $100 this way, and it can be in any types of books and any different niches, the stock market, marketing, finance, you can read books on, you know, becoming financially free different ways. You know, literally this $100 investment that you're making could have the biggest ROI return on investment than anything else in the world, guys. Think about it. If you were to start Start, you know, a business simply from reading a couple books, gaining some knowledge, maybe having some real world experience, right? You're going to be able to triple five times, 10 times, 100 times, 1000x that money if your business becomes successful, right? So think about that, guys. $100 can do wonders if you just invest it in yourself by just learning a new skill, you know, becoming an asset potentially by learning, you know, new marketing techniques, new finance techniques, how to invest, how to trade, all these different things, right, guys? So that's the third thing. Drop a comment and let me know what you guys think are different ways that you can invest money in 2019. I would love to love to know. Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe if you guys enjoy the content. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for all the love. I'll see you guys later.